Hello, I was asked to discuss the word clear. Uh, clear as if you were describing glass or water. Now, um, whenever we are interpreting, we always, always interpret meaning, not words, okay? And not just the meaning of the word, but the meaning of the entire thought. So I went ahead and put this word into context so we can uh, interpret that concept of clear within context. Even if you're using that concept of clear, that definition of clear, but you're putting it in different contexts, that word could be interpreted very, very different ways, okay? So we always, it can't just be what's the sign for clear, okay? Or what's the sign for clear meaning, you know, like, like glass or like water, because I might say see-through, but that's not going to necessarily be the best way to handle it. It really depends on what the whole uh, thought is saying. We interpret the whole thing. So I went ahead and put it in context. The first sentence we're going to talk about is, drink lots of water every day, clear water. It doesn't count if you put anything in it. Okay? So in that sense, this speaker is basically, she's using the word clear to say nothing added, plain water, okay? Nothing added, plain water. So the beginning of this is a simple topic, you know, after we figure out the meaning, it's a simple uh, topic comment stru ASL structure. So we're gonna take that first chunk and apply that. So every day, water, drink, 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 drink. Classifier shows it going down, drink, drink, drink. Excuse the paint on my finger, I've been painting. Pa drink, drink, drink. This classifier means, excuse me, it shows that a, a full glass, empty glass. So it shows the liquid going from top of the glass to bottom. Drink, drink, drink. Okay, so uh, every day time, water topic, drink, 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 drink. Okay, that's just an, an added depict element of depiction, which we always, a ASL is a visual language, so we always try to uh, depict anything when we can. All right, so this is the depiction. So then the message says, clear water, it doesn't count if you put anything in it. So you might say, must clean, must, and even to emphasize that point, you might say, you might show pouring water in, so I have the glass, pouring water into the glass, leave it, all right? So, okay, you can hear my stomach growling, I'm sorry. <laughs> you probably can't, but I have my mic here and it's kind of sensitive. Um, so, pouring wa water in, leave it, all right? And then to emphasize this idea further, it doesn't count if you put anything in it, you could say not opening a packet, dumping it in, stirring it up. When I visualize somebody putting in, putting something in water, that's how I see it. I'm also kind of old school, okay? Like uh, high C or whatever people used to eat or drink. Um, nowadays they have like fancier ones, so maybe you envision it like this and s dumping it in or squeezing it, squeezing it in or something. So whatever your visualization of somebody um, putting something in water, use a classifier that matches what you visualize. Again, I'm old school, so I'm this, or sorry, dumping it in that way. So, um, so yeah, that could be an interpretation of that whole sentence, which includes the concept of clear, all right? Clear water. Um, okay. The next sentence that has the word clear in it. I need glasses for drinking, all right? And I really didn't want to put the word for drinking in there, but I wanted to be clear to you guys that I'm not talking about glasses. I'm talking about glasses. It's the same kind of glasses that you would be drinking your water out of. Okay, so I'm going to take the drinking out of it. I need glasses, but I want clear glasses. Nothing foo-foo, just simple, plain glass, all right? So again, we need to make sure we understand. We can't just hear words and just start 
throwing out signs that match the words that we hear. That right there is a hard habit to break, but the most common, the most common and the most detrimental thing that interpreters do. They hear words and they start throwing out, they throwing out signs that match the words they hear instead of processing. And we've all, if you're an interpreter, you've heard of what processing is. It's the mental process where you go from one language and you filter it through your brain, you understand the meaning, and then you try to visualize what the meaning is, and then you try to put that visualization into a very native form of the target language. So in this case, the target language is ASL, all right? That's processing. Many people don't do that. They just hear words, and they just start throwing out signs that match the words that they hear. We have to start using our brain and processing. All right, so once again, the sentence is, I need glasses, but clear, but I want clear glass, nothing foo-foo, just simple, plain glass. I really hope you guys can't hear my stomach right now. <laughs> okay, um, so um, the first idea is I need glasses, okay, meaning to drink out of for the kitchen, all right? So I need glasses. That's the first thought, the first complete thought. So we can go ahead and, it's a complete thought, we can go ahead and, and, and decide on an interpretation and get that out of the way for that right away, all right? So I need um, cups, meaning that's the sign for cups, glass. Or you could sign that topicalized, so you could sign cups, glass, I need. Notice how I'm signing it plural. Don't sign one glass or cup, but you need glasses for the kitchen. So I need cups, glass or cups, glass, I need, all right? So that, that first part of it is out of it. I need glasses. But I want clear glass, nothing foo-foo, all right? So now she's kind of explaining, like, um, like kind of adding a, explaining her thought further. Understand, it would be a good transition there. Understand, um, and then she's saying simple, understand, want simple, you could do, she says nothing foo-foo, so to me that means like fancy or decorated, uh, I don't want, I don't want. Um, and then, um, and then another thing she's saying clear, so to me immediately I think color, so we have the glass, color all around, color, none, none. Just maybe plain or even see, through the glass, see through, can. So notice I didn't just sign it's it's see through in the same way that we say it in English, it's see through. Um, rather I used it as a verb, see through it, can is another way to convey the idea of clear, all right? So we have um, understand simple, um, that means fancy, that's the non-manual for that. Not, decorate, not. Um, and again, you don't need all of these signs to explain clear, but they all could work in, 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 uh, in combination. And then the color, none. Just plain, or you could even do see-through, can. All right, so that's, again, I gave you a lot there because I wanted you to see different variations, different choices that you can make to convey this idea. Like I said earlier, always lean toward depiction because ASL is a visual language that can, that, uh, so depiction is a natural part of the language. So now that we've discussed clear in the sense of um, like clear water, clear glass, as I was writing up those sentences, I thought of the this the uh, phrase clear conscience. Of course, this is nothing to do with clear water, clear clear um, glass. It's a totally different meaning, but I thought I would present a sentence in containing the words clear conscience and discuss this as well. So um, a sentence could be, I really thought I offended her. Man, it was bothering me. I'm so glad we got a chance to talk it out today. Now I have a clear conscience, okay? So that's kind of a lot, so let's break this down. First of all, we need to make sure we understand what's going on in this story. We're processing, okay? So she's saying that, so there is somebody that she she was really, she, well, she, there was somebody that she thought she offended at some point in time in the past, right? There was someone 
that she thought that she offended a female, that she thought she offended sometime in the past. Okay, that's the first idea. Um, she says, it meant it was bothering me. So that means that, so, so that means that from the time that it happened until present time, give or take, she was really thinking about this. She was really, you know, uh, maybe stressing out about this situation. Okay, it was bothering me. I'm so glad we got a chance to talk it out today. All right, so this is the third chunk of meaning. Today there was a conversation and we've hashed it out. Okay, we've resolved the situation. It's resolved, all right? And then the first, in the fourth uh, chunk of meaning is, now I have a clear conscience. Now you can imagine she's, Oh, thank goodness. I feel so much relief after that. You know, now I can get it off my, you know, off my mind. So that's how you process. Each chunk of meaning needs to be processed to figure out exactly what the, the message is saying. And now we are going to interpret each chunk of meaning as we have um, determined what it means, not the words that I just read from my, my cheat sheet here. Okay, so here we go. First chunk of meaning, I really thought I offended her, okay? So time, so at some point in the past, this person over here, whoever she is, and, and gender does not matter unless it matters. In this case, her, her, being, her being female is irrelevant, okay? So we don't need to put that in there. Um, recently, this person over here, and I'm gonna really emphasize it by saying, true biz, I feel me, offend her all right so i really did i feel me offend her i feel means means i think i had this feeling that i did this thing okay so that's the first chunk of meaning recently this person over here okay i felt like i offended her second chunk of meaning um, I was so, oh, sorry, man, it was bothering me, all right? And so that happened in the past. So we're, this is an, its own chunk of meaning, so we applied time topic comment to it as well. Up until now, so this happened, offending her maybe, right? Then up until now, me, oh, I've been thinking about it, maybe get, feeling guilty about it, all right? Man, it was maybe maybe uh, obsessing about it. That could be another way to convey that. The idea of it bothering me. Third chunk of meaning, I'm so glad we got a chance to talk it out today. So time, again, today, two of us discuss, maybe this first, discuss, resolve. All right, so we, we talked it out. Fourth chunk of meaning, now I have a clear conscience. And then, and I, even when I was explaining what it meant, I kind of gave a gesture that would work in the interpretation. I said, Whew. and then you could also sign relief, relief. And that could be the whole message for this idea of, um, you know, this clear conscience after having, after hashing it out. So once again, this is, I, I gave you that kind of bonus sentence just to emphasize that we don't just sign words. We don't hear a word and sign a word. We hear an entire message and then we take a moment and eventually if you practice it, it will only take a moment to process it. What does it mean? What, what, are there any visualizations that I can find? What from that visualization can I put in an ASL interpretation of that? And what should that ASL interpretation be? Boom, and then you sign it, all right? And that, ha and that processing happens for every single chunk of meaning, okay? Uh, that's all I've got. Bye-bye.